Okay, this is how you fix a Brother HL4040CN laser printer that's giving the error message unable to print 32. First you open the front cover, second you remove the toner carriage. So I learned that you don't have to remove the paper tray. Next you remove these two clips and the image roll. Now be sure not to touch the image roll because you do not want any contamination on it, such as oils, scratches, residues, dirt, etc. Don't forget to lower the catcher before closing the front cover, or it won't close. And from the back, you remove the back cover. There's two screws on the bottom, remove them. Next, you remove the fuser roll by removing these two screws. I found that the top plastic cover is not necessary to be removed, neither the two screws above the fuser roll. They can stay in place. Next, you remove the paper guide. There's two little pin, uh, plastic pins that go through the plastic and hold it in place. It's easy to pop off. Next, you remove the circuit board cover. I found that it's uh, if you apply pressure from the right side, pushing to the left, it will release the four mounting tabs and pop right off. These are the mounting tabs here. There's four of them, as you see here. And now we see the circuit board. In, on the circuit board is a little paddle right here, and it moves forward, uh, moves. This is the, uh, the opposite side. You can see the paddle. There's a sticky foam pad, a foam pad that's become sticky over time. It's hard to see, but right here is the paddle that's moving, and it's not moving back because it's sticking to that pad. So you need to play, apply a piece of tape to the sticky foam pad and this allows it to uh, not be sticky anymore because it's covered by the tape and the paddle will not stick to it. Like so make sure you get, a, get it to stick well so it doesn't come off later. And that's it. Now it's just a matter of putting it all back together. The opposite of you took it off. You can see here that I have the plastic panel at the top back in place. I took it off and learned that I didn't need to re remove it. This printer wouldn't print anything because of that error. So I did a, filmed a test page, test print page, to show that it's now working. And there you have it. Test print page. Printer works great.